So today is finally the day that I get to try Flashback 2. Yeah, so 30 years waiting for this. Um, and yeah, I'm overjoyed. Like, So this come out yesterday. I, well, the day before yesterday, actually. Um, I spent yesterday getting it downloaded, ready. And in that time, I read the Steam reviews and it's not looking good, I'll be honest. There's a lot of negativity around this at the moment. So uh, I'm just trying not to let it kill my hype because like I say I was a massive fan of the original so I'm just hoping I'm praying I'm praying that this is going to be good um, yeah I'll switch over so we can see the game so this is yeah this is the main menu uh, we'll have a quick look at the graphic options so we'll start with video so there is high medium low for the graphics presets obviously we'll put it on higher that's my resolution it's got NVIDIA DLSS. I'm going to leave that off for now because I've read on the forms that it doesn't work correctly at the moment and actually negatively impacts your performance. So I'll leave that off for now. I'll leave dynamic resolution as enabled. And that's pretty much the settings for there. Audio is basic, so main volume, music volume, voice and sound effects. And then you've got languages and voices. So I'll leave that as English. Controls. Okay, so there is a jump. Um, I did read on the forms though that there isn't actually a free jump, which is, a, if that is true, that is very disappointing because the first game was all about timing your jumps to get over like the gaps and stuff like that. Um, so it will be disappointing if you can't freely jump, but we'll see, we'll see. Everything else is looking pretty standard. So move, crouch, slide, shoot, sprint. Reload shield, walk. Okay, inventory is I. Use med pack is Q. I well, would definitely need to use them. I probably. Uh, but yeah, so graphic options are okay. You know, they're pretty basic, but at least they're there. At least it's not just a straight up like console port, which is a plus from the start. Um, yeah, let's get to it. New game. Choose the first profile slot. Oh, please be good. Survival chances would be below 5%. Aisha? Is that you? Five seconds to explosion. It's been an honor serving under you, Cadet Heart. Flashback to. Oh, can't wait. Can't wait. Oh, I hope this is good. Seriously, waited 30 years for this. Okay, oh. Heal yourself. Something I gotta get med pack. I was lucky to make it out alive, but I'm hurt. Use this med pack to med restore your health. So, Q. Much better. Much better. But where am I? Let's find Aisha. She'll fill me in. I dozed off in a shuttle, and here's where I wake up? What's going on? That was Aisha's voice I heard just before the blast. There's a few stutters already here or there, so... Mm. Hang on to... A high element. Liking that. Can we jump? You can. You technically, you can. So I'm not sure what people are on about in the forms. You can't free jump, but if you time your jumps, you can jump over gaps and stuff. Okay. All right. Am I going up? Yeah. Could have made an effort to decorate a bit. 
Good thing that's still working. Well, if we go, down we go. Okay, so first impressions. I do like the graphics, you know. I wasn't expecting anything different, um, but I am concerned about the performance because it's not like it's a graphically, a graphically intense game. And my PC is very capable of running a game like this in any ordinary you know, scenario. So I'm a bit concerned with the stuttering already. But we'll see. We'll carry on. We'll see how it goes. It's depressing out here. Let's not hang around. Depressing the game stutters, to be honest. Go down. Where's Aisha? I can't find her. Aisha, where Check are you? Over here. over here, Conrad. Even though I am but a simple artificial intelligence, Conrad, I am happy to be at your service. Okay, cool. E to skip. Aisha, status no. report. Where am I and what am I doing? It's not really skip though, it's next. So, you know. We're in New Washington, on planet Titan, in a makeshift laboratory that your friend Ian Nemechek set up. Today's date, May 22, 2134, local time T1430. New Washington? But I was in a shuttle headed for Earth. I was about to uncover an alien conspiracy, and you, Aisha, I'd left you at the GBI. Exactly, Conrad. I and downloaded my neural network and installed it in this sidearm. He also designed the machine in which you woke up. Ian? Where is he? Two men just broke into the laboratory. They hit him. They planted a bomb. Then they took him. This doesn't make any sense. To get answers, we have to find Ian. I only detect your heartbeat. If I am still here, it means he is deceased. I sometimes wonder who set your empathy parameters, Aisha. Should I say? Uh, fix the power supply to the elevator. Ah, okay, so I'm going down. That's locked. That's locked. Uh, no, nothing there. Can I go down? Yeah. The elevator isn't working. Okay, what am I missing? What have I got in my infantry? Two med packs and nothing else. So can 
need a key. I need a key for that. Definitely know where to go there. Missing something here. Okay, I'm right, going back up. I can jump down there we go. Oh. Intruder detected. Engaging facial recognition. Match found. Class one criminal. Initiating offensive protocol. Bring it. Looks like we've triggered the lab security protocol. Oh good. Security drone is out of motion. Requesting backup. Alert. Alert. Drones approaching. Okay, shooting's not too bad. Yeah, thanks, Aisha. I'd already noticed. Plenty of med packs so far. Come on. Your marksmanship is intact, Conrad. Thanks, Aisha. To be honest, you played a part in that. Access card. Use this key to unlock the door. Okay, fine. Gotta change. Control slide and dash. Can't change what? Oh, It's not letting me change. Slide and dash, I want to change. Oh well, never mind. It's not letting me change keys. So yeah, so I can get through this door now. Access granted. should be working now. What? That felt a bit weird then when that controls, I'm going to be honest. I thought I was aiming at them when I wasn't. 
Conrad, can you tell me more about this alien threat? I can't find anything on that topic in the GBI database. While testing molecular goggles I was developing for my thesis, I discovered the existence of the morphs, aliens able to take human shape. They infiltrated society, stole key positions, and manipulated our data. Ian is nowhere to be found. Let's look for some clues. Just a data file. Okay. Shoot the ventilation. This triangular car. If it belongs to Ian's kidnappers, it should help me track them down. This terminal can be used for. Let's have a look. Hack terminal. Don't quite know what I did there, to be honest. in this lab. Let's get out of here. Low health. Oh, that's going to take some getting used to, that is. He's there, but I want to see what's in that terminal. What's the save? Let's get out of the lab. Yeah, that went bad. That went bad. I get what people are saying about the controls, though. That was a bit awkward then. Like, with the 2.5 depth, sometimes when you're trying to aim at some of the enemies, it's not really locking on or anything. Uh... A market. How am I supposed to find Ian in this mess? You were in this building. Were you hurt? The explosion shook the whole market. I'm okay, thanks. You were lucky. Is there anyone injured inside? No, I checked everywhere. No one but me. Still, you may have seen people exiting before me? Yes, two burly men carrying a guy who looked pretty banged up. 
If you want my opinion, the mutants did this. Unless it was the Triangle Mafia. Triangle Mafia. Shush! You're gonna get us in trouble. Triangle Mafia. Like the card I found in the lab. May I ask you a question? That what? This card. Do you know what this triangle logo stands for? Friends of yours. Not really. Do you know where I can find them? Uh, you could try Stoli's. Belongs to Mike Corleone, the triangle's boss. I'd steer clear if I were you. Unless you're looking for trouble. For your information, Stoli's is on the other side of the market. But you'll need a code to enter. And do you know this code by any chance? Nope. Too bad. You should ask Noe Jadik at the market. He knows quite a lot of things. He sells medicinal products. Does he know? Thanks for everything. That was cannabis, basically. <laughs> Be careful, okay? Don't want your death on my conscience. Okay, let's get moving. We need to find this Jadek person. The guy said he sold medicinal plants. I need to know more about the Triangle Mafia. No Jadik, right? Who's asking? My name's Conrad Hart. Someone said you could help me. I was told you could give me the code to get into Stoli's club. Whoever told you that was wrong. And if I knew the code, why would I give it to you? Right. What if I told you, give me the code if you want to live? Don't try to intimidate me with your gun, man. I know people in the Mafia, so don't think you can scare me. Yeah, I've seen quite a few guns. Most were bigger. Better boy. That's much better. I was given this card, plus a hint I had to go to Stoli's. I see. I guess if you're really looking for trouble, just say T-180 to get in. Thanks for your help. Yeah. T-180. The code. Usually people start by... Yeah? Usually people don't mess with me. <laughs> I don't doubt it. The code would be T-180. Okay. Pro tip. Downstairs. They're the kind of guys you don't want to mess with. Thanks for the tip. I'll... Wait, what's that? Oh, it's called the lift. It's fine, it's already here. Hey there. Nobody gets downstairs unless I say so. I'm looking for one Mike Corleone. Do I look like a receptionist Mike to you? Corleone. Get lost. All right, but I'll tell Mike how you were overzealous when he asks why I didn't come. Somebody gave me this card and the name of this bar. All right. 
Yeah, let me fast. Observation. The opulent style of this place indicates its owner is a man of means. There he is. I think this badge belongs to you, Mr. Corleone. Ah, welcome to Stoli, son. You'll find lots of great stuff here, but unfortunately not your friend. He did some shady stuff. Some important people really wanted to talk to him all of a sudden. Where is he? The stubborn kind, eh? <laughs> I like that. By any chance, do you know your way around a mech? What does that have to do with anything? Uh, underground mech fights are kind of my thing. But I can't get a win against Shark Fu, my rival's champion. You beat him, and then we'll talk. I'd have to get a mech. You can get one for a thousand credits at Stoli's. And if you're strapped for cash, you can get a job at the Pacifica Job Agency. Here, take this motorbike rental car. It'll make getting around easier. Good luck, Conrad Hart. Okay. Unlimited uh, by rental card. Okay. Oh, awesome. So where now? Go to Pacifica by motorcycle. Earn a thousand credits to buy a Merc. Okay. Entry. I'm not moving. What? Uh, no. Sorry, I don't think so. How come a guard wants to arrest them? Maybe the lab security system alerted police to your invasion, Conrad. Low health. I don't think I've got any more med packs. Get out of the way. Oh, that is very chunky. What's one of them? You're fucking kidding me. Better head to Pacifica. My cover's blown here anyway. Let's oh, borrow cool, a motorbike, cool. courtesy of Corleone. Well, let me save quickly. Yeah. 
Here we go. I'll be honest, I don't know what I think so far. It's it's okay. Yeah, this is pretty cool. There's a nice little thing if we're getting around, I guess, or we're then just clicking another section of a map. Weapons are not allowed here. You want my picture or what? To Pacifica. Okay, where do we pick a job up from then? Register for a job. Job agency. Job agency in here. Hello, welcome to the job agency. How may I help you? I want a job. What is this place? This is the job agency. Here you can choose missions from the terminals. When you successfully complete a job, you earn money. Thanks for the info. See you. Okay, terminal. I should go sign up. Just spoke to that dude. Hello, welcome to the job agency. How may I help you? About I'd like terminals. to sign up. Can I? Of course. I'll get you signed up right away. To help you in your missions, you'll receive 150 credits when signing up. You can use the terminals to look for jobs. You earn money each time you complete a mission. Anything else? No. See you. Lightning Corp is currently searching for the whereabouts of a dangerous individual. Uh, this individual is on the run and went into hiding inside Pacifica Mall. But he is tall and has a beard. If you see him, notify the proper authorities immediately. So he's been spotted by CCTV. And he's tall and got a beard. Great. That's really not much to go off, is it? mission it's the mission I chose sorry one sec it's hurting that really did not help did I select the mission carry out the missions mission accepted i have to comb the whole pacifica mall
Excuse me, have you seen this person recently? Sorry, I'm late. Could have just said no. to Mars is delayed. Oh, it's departures. Spaceport. Congress. Dude. Excuse me, have you seen this person recently? Yeah. Uh, didn't see any guy with a beard today. and travel excuse me have you seen this person recently ah yes I saw a big guy with a beard and a cap go through the storage door in a hurry ah uh, yes oh I understand it's always hard when you're just starting out for example when I started I um, could we focus on my issue, please? Do you have the code? Oh, sorry. I tend to overshare. I know it's a major flaw. But no, no agency employee has the code. We're not allowed in the zone behind the door. Right. However, a month or so ago, Hong, the Pacifica technician, came to fix the access terminal. Hong's really my kind of guy. With that pink punk hair, his olive skin... Anyway, while I was watching him, I saw the first two letters of the code he was entering to test it. X and O. I couldn't see the last two letters. Oh, you know where this is going. I ran into Hong this morning on my way in. He was at the bike rental place downstairs. If you go see Hong, tell him Stacy sent you. That's me. All right, I'll tell him. This. The person I'm looking for must be behind this door. I need the code to open. Okay. Back down to the bike rental place. Here we go. Oh, the control. Oh, I agree. The controls are very chunky on this. Are you hung? The I actually the think it would be easier. With a controller, I mean, with a keyboard and mouse, I actually think a controller will actually that's what people are moaning because it, it'll probably be feel even more chunkier. Bloody, is it out of order again? No, everything's okay. Uh, I simply need the code to open the door. Stacy told me you could give it to me. I don't know, no Stacy, unless you're talking about the needy travel agent. But in any case, I'm not supposed to give the code to anyone. I have to rescue a colleague trapped inside, but I can't remember the full access code. That's too bad, mate. Maybe the two of us can piece the code together? I have the first two characters. And I have the last two, but these are the most expensive. If you want them, you'll have to cough it up. For 50 credits, I'll give you the missing characters. Yeah? You drive a hard bargain, but all right, here's the money. I think it was L and R. See you soon.
So, the code is 0XLR. Nice. Access granted. Let's do I this. I can use my weapon. Oh, shit. Oh, there's a box there. Stanley Prater? Are you all right? I'm handsome Stan himself, yeah. And I've seen better days. Titan Corp. Got to me. You look like one of the good guys. Take this code. Please. Code? It's very important. Give them to Jock. And wish the organization good luck. Titan Corp won't have the last laugh. Stanley! Poor guy. He's dead. I'd like to know who this jock is, and what this code is for. If you want to get paid for the mission, Conrad, the priority is to return to the job agency. Yeah, you're right, Aisha. Self control module. Okay. Okay, that went okay. I I will admit I'm agreeing with everyone else here. I'm not liking the controls, but the more I play, the more I'm getting used to it. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. You know, if you've if you've played this, if you like it, or well, what's your vibes on on the game? Like from seeing this video, what's your thoughts? Do you think it was worth the 30 year wait? Let's go cash this job in. Where do I cash this job in? Hello, welcome to the job. I found Stanley Prater, the wanted man, but he's dead. His body is located under the travel agency in a storeroom. Good work. We'll send a cleanup crew. Thank you. Awesome. The 
pick up the other missions. Save a kid? I have to hurry. Have a look. Go to the lab in the West Alley. West Alley. Got a feeling it'll be down here then. Titan Exocore. We must be here. I wonder what kind of horrific experiments they conducted here. Back pack. So I've got four now. I can confirm that the lab staff is dead. Great. Is that? Nothing to there.
this granite. Whoa, this room is full of these monsters. Go back the other way. There are drones here too. Drones must be effective against the monsters that dwell here. Anybody there? Who's there? My name is Conrad. Can you open the door, please? I'll help you get out of there. You're Amy, the director's daughter, right? But... Where's my dad? And my teddy bear? Well, I don't really know about your dad. But, what does your teddy bear look like? I'm not looking for a teddy bear. We're getting out of here. I lost him in the room downstairs. <laughs> I don't want to leave without my teddy bear. Tough shit, you're leaving without it. Simple. All right, I'll go find it. No, we won't. Right, after that. No, 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 okay? no, 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 no. Uh, seriously. Who in the right mind would go and look for a teddy bear? Or you'd just get out. Oh, yeah. Tough shit, kid. Uh, does this unlock? No. This way we go. Here we go. Ah, some flying monstrosity. I'll never have enough bug spray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's this gonna do? Low health. What? Okay, now I get it. You gotta get them two circle blocks to pair up with each other. Shit. Teddy, there we go. Got it. A teddy bear. Probably Amy's. Not probably, it is. She just asked you to go get it, you idiot. Low health.
Right, here's your stupid teddy. Let's get out of here. Did you find Mr. Bear Bear? Yes. Here's your bear, Amy. Mr. Bear Bear is back! Mr. Thank bear you, Bears, sir. yes. Here, I found this key on the floor. Great. Let's get out of here. Huh. Thanks. I'll make sure the coast is clear. Wait here a sec. No. All We're right. going. Mr. Bear Bear is a bit afraid, but I'll protect him. Oh, I'm going this way now, yeah? The path is clear, Amy. I'm coming. The button doesn't work. Amy, do you know if your dad has any tools that can help us repair the wiring? When he's tinkering away, my dad always wears his weird super goggles. Today, he lent them to me so I could play with Mr. Bear Bear. Here, try them on. You'll see. Wow, these goggles have a flow analyzer. Exactly what we need to detect connections of devices around us. Use the module to measure frequencies to analyze connections between devices. Two. Terminal is connected to the door, but in order to open it, you'll have to shut its junction. I rewired the circuit. It should work. Access granted. There we go. Oh, is that us getting out of here? Where's your teddy bear? Where's a teddy bear? Where's a teddy bear? Went all that way to get a teddy bear and she hasn't got it. It definitely ain't fitting in a pocket. This way? Good. I think that's it. I think we can get out now.
I must get Amy out. You kidding me? I mean, technically, I didn't wait for it to get on the lift. I know, but come on. Get on the lift. Now what? Come on. Great! We found the way out! That's it, Amy. I'll call for help. Then you can find your dad. Thanks, mister. You can keep my daddy's weird super goggles. Don't worry, I will. This mission is over, Conrad. You must find another one. Amy is back with her father. I only hope she'll be able to forget this horrible ordeal. Okay, right, we'll leave the game there for now. No, actually, I need to find a save point, don't I? Because it doesn't save... be a save point around here. I've just done a mission. I do like the I do like the art style. I do like the you know it does like the city and that gives like I like the future, you know, like the what you call it, like cyberpunk kind of aspect to it. I like that I do like but the controls the controls they could definitely do some work on tweaking the controls. It's very chunky. And you're. It just feels you're always battling with the controls more than enjoying the game. That's just how I felt the first hour playing it. But I have enjoyed it. Don't get me wrong. I've enjoyed it so far. Um, you know, games are a lot different today than what they were 30 years ago. So I wasn't expecting it, to, you know, to to be to blow my mind or anything. But and yeah, I'll be honest. I I think it's a worthy sequel to the original. Um, but I think they've got a lot of work to do with fixing the bugs, the performance. Um, even though it's played alright for me, I understand that a lot of complaining about performance, but they need to, I think they could definitely tweak the controls a bit and make it feel a bit more fluent. Um, maybe like a more kind of like lock on aiming kind of thing might help with it because it's, yeah, it's. It's a bit chunky. It's a bit chunky at the moment, and it doesn't feel fluent. Um, yeah, and it will prevent you from enjoying the game as much as you should. But yeah, I hope you liked this video. If you did, uh, please hit the like and subscribe button. And yeah, and thanks for just checking it out. And yeah, I might do more on this. I might not. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I'll see how how much traction this video picks up. Um, but yeah, if you like me, where you waited over thirty years for a sequel. Um, and you really like the first flashback game, I'd definitely recommend giving it a shot. I'm not sure if the price bracket meets what it offers at the moment. It's a over, it's a thirty pound game, but it's over thirty pound. So obviously, a different country in dollars and stuff like that would be even more. Uh, so you know, it might be one of these ones where you wait for a sale or, a, or you know, or it starts getting a reduction in price because it does seem a bit steep for what's on offer. Um, but as you can see, there's quite a lot to it. It seems like there's a decent story there. And yeah. But yeah, thanks for checking it out. And again, thanks for everyone that's subscribed to my channel so far. It means so much to me. And yeah, I'll keep doing it. I've got a big passion for games. I love playing games. And I, I just wanted to start making content and sharing my passion with everyone. And that, so yeah, thank you.